Hey there, grumpy old fart here. <sighs> Check out my new hat. <laughs> my wife got it for me for my birthday. L little early birthday present. Um, I'm doing a, a an alien activity video on the next door neighbors. And for those of you who don't understand what I'm talking about, <sighs> galactically speaking, our next door neighbors are a long ways off. But they may very well be there. The James Webb Space Telescope has detected artificial lights on a planet in the Proxima Centauri system. For the, a little bit of cosmology here, the Proxima Centauri system is for little, uh, astronomy, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, the Proxima Centauri, Proxima Centauri system is four light years away from our star. Cosmically speaking, that makes any inhabitants of, inhabitants of this system our next door neighbors. Proxima B is about 4.25 light years from Earth. It is about the size of Earth and inhabit, inhabits Proxima Centauri's habitable zone. This Goldilocks zone, as it's called, is the best distance from a star to facilitate life. Earth sits in our star's Goldilocks zone because if it's too, if it's any closer, it's too cold. Or excuse me, if it's any closer, it's too hot. If it's further away, it's too cold. Pluto's an icy an ice ball basically. Uh, you have to have the exact right temperature for life to thrive, and Earth sits in that habitable zone, the Goldilocks zone. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. It's just right. That's where that term comes from. Um. Proxima B sits in Proxima Centauri's Goldilocks zone. Okay. In late 2020, a signal was detected from the direction of Proxima Centauri. Now, scientists are still trying to determine if this signal is genuine, is you know some sort of a genuine alien signal, or more likely if it is a reflection of our civilization. Because sometimes the signals we get we send out get reflected back by some object in space, some celestial body, and we receive it and people, oh look, it's an alien signal. No, it's, just, it's reflected from us, you know. Um, and more than likely, that's what this is. But it got people to thinking. <clears throat> they, they trained the James Webb Telescope on Proxima B and saw some what, what they considered to be artificial lights. Artificial means it's not natural, folks. That, that, that's the only explanation you can come up with. They're not natural. If they're not natural, somebody made them somehow. Maybe accidentally, maybe, you know, uh, intentionally. But somebody on, oh, some, something over there is generating light. And it's not natural. It's artificial. Lights on the night side of a planet would be a good indicator of a civilization inhabiting that world the way you know earth is is inhabited is because on the night side of the planet we, we, you know because the, the planet rotates that's how we get night day night day when it's nighttime we everybody turns on their lights gee look there's a lights all over the place there yeah there's, there's somebody lives there no the lights are on from somebody home you know keep in mind that if we had a spacecraft capable of reaching one tenth the speed of light that craft would take 42 and a half years to reach Proxima Centauri. So, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a long ways off. Galactically speaking, it's right next door, but it's still a long way off for us because we can't, we can't do anything close to one-tenth the speed of light. If aliens are traveling through space with some, through real space, not through some wormhole or whatever, and they're traveling here with some sort of faster-than-light spacecraft to visit Earth, then Proxima Centauri would probably be the best bet for their origin. Now, of course, an FTL spacecraft, faster-than-light spacecraft, might theoretically travel many times the speed of light. I mean, if you can break the speed of light, how fast beyond that can you go? How many times the speed of light can you go? A good example of that is in fiction, Star Trek, Warp Drive, Warp 1 is 1 times 1 times 1 times the speed of light. 
Warp 2 is 2 times 2 times 2, or 8 times the speed of light. Warp 3 is 3 times 3 times 3, or 27 times the speed of light. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. See what I'm saying? And it progresses like that. So when you get into warp drive, that's what they're talking about. Now that's fiction. If some alien species has faster than light travel, how fast can they go? We don't know. Um, it the, An FTL spacecraft might theoretically travel many times the speed of light, which means the occupants of that craft could literally come from anywhere. They, they could be in a different galaxy for all we know. The occupants of the UFOs or UAPs that people are reporting are obviously from a highly advanced civilization. Given that these craft that people are witnessing are, are you know, various sizes from 10 meters wide to several miles wide, one might speculate that, they're, that, that these UFO occupants require space. They're, they're, they have physical mass. They require space. They need a place to sleep. They need a control room. They need, you know, a bathroom. They need this. They need that. They need space. If that is accurate, then distance is a factor because you can only go so far. The, the, they're, they're, humans can travel so far without a resupply. Ships at sea can only go so far. When If you're traveling a, planning a long space voyage, you got to load the ship up with, with food and water and blah, 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 blah. Consumables, you know. If this is accurate that these aliens require space, then distance is a factor and therefore the closest origin point, at least to me, would be the most likely. To me, that makes the most sense. But again, that part is just my opinion. What I'm saying is, the main gist of this video is, the James Webb Telescope has detected artificial light on a world four light years from Earth. Artificial means one thing. Somebody made it. If there's, if, if there's a different meaning, please put it in the comments. I'll be glad to read it. I'm just saying. Hope this finds everybody well. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.